Now let's get our daily update from the 2016 Olympics in Rio. After a bad couple of days with loss after loss in badminton, volleyball and wrestling, things could be looking up for Team Korea on day 12 of the Games. Our Lee Eun-shin tells us more. With two events full of golden hope kicking off, Wednesday is the day Team Korea has been waiting for. In women's taekwondo, Korea's Kim so Lee is guaranteed at least a silver, but hopefully a gold, after making the final. Finishing the nail-biting semifinal with a golden point against her French opponent, the two-time world champion is set to take on Tiana Bogdanovic of Serbia in the 49 kilo gold medal match. Day 12 also welcomed back a sport that has returned to the Olympics after more than a century. After the first round, Team Korea's Park Yun Bi, the world number five, is second on a five under par 66, one shot behind the leader from Thailand. Also tied with Park in second is world number six Kim Se Young. Though the other two female golfers from Korea are way down the field at the moment, hopes are high Team Korea will scoop at least a couple of medals in the sport. Meanwhile, Brazil has sealed a spot in the final of the men's football. Star player Neymar scored after just 14 seconds, setting a record with the fastest goal in Olympic history. Brazil went on to cruise past Honduras 6 0 and is set to play Germany in the final on Saturday. In athletics, Kenya maintained its iron grip on the men's 3,000 meter steeplechase. 21 year old Conceslas Kipruto claimed gold and set an Olympic record of 8 minutes 3.28 seconds. Kenya now has won every 3,000-meter steeplechase since 1968, having boycotted the 1976 and 1980 Olympics for political reasons. Yunshin, Arirang News.